so today i'll be teaching you five tricks to work on images faster and better like the top designers out there so you can deliver to your clients quickly let's get into it So welcome to today's tutorial my name is bright from ceo design some people keep hitting my whatsapp and after we talk for a while they'll always ask me so sir what's your real name my name is bright my name is bright b-r-i-g-h-t bright from ceo designs okay so i'll be teaching you guys the five tricks of today's tutorial so let's get straight into it so guys the first trick to work faster on photoshop is to optimize your photoshop to work faster how can we do this so have you always been complaining about your photoshop being laggy if i teach you the other four tricks and i don't teach you this one as the first one the other four tricks may not even work very fast for you so i have to teach you how to optimize your photoshop to work much more faster and smoother so what should we do you go to edit first then you click on preferences in case your preference is not showing there is a, a um, a button here when you click it it goes down and you see preferences or you do ctrl k on your keyboard that's a shortcut for preferences then you click on performance okay so this dialog box come on now check memory usage on this machine i currently have 8 gig available ram on this machine now they ask you how many ram should photoshop use on your machine so it is very advisable to give photoshop minimum of 70 percent of your ram at least at least 70 percent of your ram some people gives from 65 but i always advise to give photoshop 70 percent what what does that mean you are making photoshop a priority or you're placing photoshop as the number one priority when you are working on your system if photoshop is on so at that point other softwares will not run as fast as photoshop the photoshop holds like 70 percent of your ram in storage in retrieval of memory and lots of stops so it's very advisable to give photoshop minimum of 70 please don't give photoshop 100 please <laughs> so just keep it at 70 don't go crazy about it just keep it at 70 and hit on okay so currently photoshop is optimized to run very smoothly so let's continue so after you do that make sure you shut down your photoshop and turn it back on because on restart of photoshop that's when that settings gets applied so for the second trick guys are you having an image like this and it's not filling up your entire canvas leaving this kind of space and you're thinking how will i extend this image how will i fill up the background what should i do should i use uh the close time to and all that hey don't worry guys i have a perfect fix for you step one convert your image to a rasterized layer step two select a selection tool like the rectangular marquee tool and just select the top part of the image Step two, we go to edit and click on content aware scale. Step four, holding shift on your keyboard, click and stretch this guy up like this and commit that. Then deselect Ctrl D. It works like magic. True of us. True. <laughs> so for trick TV, how can we quickly change colors of clothes and this headset with that selection? So let's get right into it guys. So step one, invoke the UN saturation adjustment layer. So step two, click on this small hand picker here. The way you click on that, select the red from the clothes since we are having the red uh, as hood and the red as headset. So step three, adjust the who, the you, just adjust the you to whichever you like. I know some people currently will be saying, this is the reason why we selected it. It's affecting the girl's head, the girl's leg and everything about the girl don't worry let's watch the last trick so for step four guys we just have to divide where we want the colors to take effect always remember that in your skin color you have red you have orange you have yellow so that's why it's also affecting where we have the skin color because we selected red so coming down this slider here at the bottom that's where we do the adjustment so from the let's just join this one so from the first slider we take this guy down removing the yellow and the orange in our selection so i think just keep it around 19 degrees it's good 
then also we bring these two close to each other and there uh, see so we have deselected where we have red selected on the skin and on the face so we can continue fine tuning like reduce the, the saturation and stuff and you see it's changed to whichever color we want as quickly and simple as that so when you pick a color that's looking more awkward like this you could still desaturate and and still work just a little on that bottom but it's looking cool like this for the fourth trick guys you'll be learning how to place a text behind a subject image in her background so this is same picture from the last tip step one select the image out of the background so clicking on the magic wand to you click on select subject step two after subject is selected like this right click and click on layer via copy so it copies out just that female layer of our layer so behind um, uh, between the female layer and the main photo layer create a text there pick your type 2 and just type out something okay I'm just writing five okay then you could just transform that and see straight on that it. it's not affecting it so for the fifth trick guys which is the final trick I have this image a man standing by a gigantic phone now I only want to select the man of this image not the man on the phone I want to select the man you suggest to me that I will pick this two right and start to cut or the pen to whichever one is your favorite and I start cutting like this and just to select the man absolutely no I want to teach you how to work faster and that's all we'll do now step one go to the fourth two on Photoshop this guy magic one to click and hold inside and select the object selection two step two highlight wherever the man starts and end create that body line around him and let photoshop magic do photoshop here yeah, do the magic yeah selected step three right click on that selection and click layer via copy now it copies out just that layer for us and that's it that's that it that's it that's it, that's it. That's it. so you could do um, some adjustments afterward like removing this corner and this corner so it's as simple as that guys so with that we come to the end of today's tutorial five tricks that could really really skyrocket the productivity and the speed of your design in order for you to meet up deadlines and stuff like that i know this is a game changer for some people out there i believe you enjoyed the tutorial so just subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so that whenever tutorials like this are posted in the future you'll be the first person to be notified and also give a like so, um, comment and drop a question in case there's a part you don't really understand i'll answer you as soon as possible so with that guys see you in the next tutorial happy designing